what's going on guys welcome back to the channel making a quick video here showing you guys the paint match parts it's first thing in the morning I'm about to have to go to work and when i'm done working i'm about to paint my truck tailgate i'll show you that in a minute when i get outside the truck's warming up but i'm gonna repaint the tailgate after i fix some dents and shit in it and then that'll be painted and i also went ahead the other day i took and paint matched this tailgate handle as well as i took apart these lights here I might make a pinned comment talking about how I did this. Uh, there's probably a lot of better YouTube videos on this. I basically had to heat them up. I didn't want to use the uh, oven in my house because heating plastic just sounds kind of nasty. But I heated these things up using a cardboard box and a heat gun going into it. Got it nice and warm, like 250 degrees for a few minutes. Peeled the lenses off, took apart it into as many pieces as I could. And then I painted the tri-coat white where needed and the tan of my two-tone of the truck. Cleared it, put it all back together, siliconed it on, left a board on there to wait overnight. And then I went and I you should use fine line tape, but I actually just went ahead and used electrical tape because it's all I had at the time. And fine line the edges and then I used sealer. I used sealer inside too, but I used sealer on this and the handle after I sanded the primer down and then painted the color on there, untaped it, and then painted the whole thing on the inside. I used a scuff pad to prep everything, and on the outside, I sanded it with 800 grit sandpaper, and then went over with the scuff pad before I painted it. So if you have any questions, I guess you can let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. This is my first set. I'm nowhere near a professional. I will still try to help anyone that needs help, though. Had to do a, some body work. There was a dent right there. A dent right there, which you're probably still going to see over here is dead smooth. But over there, there's still a little low spot. But it got too close into that ladder, and I couldn't really get it good without messing up the ladder. So I just got it the best I could. And there was, like, a couple chips here and there. I went to block it and reprime it. But my uh, paint gun wasn't wanting to spray right. And it was barely dusting it out. So that's why you see just a couple random spots where I could get it to just get a little on there. And then I have 400 grit with the DA, the whole thing. So it's pretty much dead smooth. I'm not sure how much I'll actually film of painting this, but that's gonna be the goal for today. And then I'll get those paint match taillights and handle installed that I was talking about. So I guess I'll see you guys once it's, once this thing's all uh, painted up. All right, so I'm now done with work and I got it scuffed up a little more and then I taped it off. I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna say I should have taken the tailgate off and that it's faster, but it's actually not faster because I gotta wait 24 hours for this thing to dry to put it back on. When I'm done baking it, I can untape it in five minutes and leave. As you see here, we tape pretty much everything off here. It's just a rental car speed shop. And you can see right here is the booth. I'm about to get this pulled in in just a second and bag it off, and then we'll get to spraying. So I'll see you guys when we're ready to spray. All right, so I went and folded in them power mirrors. A trick I learned from working at the auction is tucking that antenna up in here. That way it doesn't get in the way when you're bagging it off. Better pull these out. It's just a storm at room temperature, and this bitch gets up to like 140 degrees at least. And that's when I'm using fast clear, which is what I'm going to obviously use because it's a small part. By the way, this boy is absolutely caked. My 850 blew up, so I got it getting rebuilt. Actually, it's a full engine replaced with the block, it's toast, and the crank. But I had uh, the guy that's fixing it lives on a dirt road, and it's been raining like crazy here the past like week. So I had to get this thing nasty, and I figured there's no point in washing it if I got a mismatched tailgate. But after I let this shit sit for a day and it's all put back together, I'm definitely going to start cleaning it again. Here we are, Big Bertha's all taped up and ready to go. Going to hit this up with some wax and grease remover and waterborne cleaner after just to be extra safe. And yeah, should be ready to go. Not sure how much of this will actually film. All right, so in a mixing, we got our paint code UG, Ford, 09 to 22, that's in my year range. Main body. 
and down here we got darker and blue lighter red we need more blue for my exact variant is not the standard it's not gonna mix this up we'll be good to go well that was a huge battle i had to weigh a bunch of stuff down and suck it towards the back that's a nightmare i hope this doesn't cause any problems for me because like dude this is a mess i hate this but we got a uh, Eastwood Contours LT100, about to throw some sealer on the whole thing and then we'll base and clear it. coat of base let it sit for maybe two minutes to flash i got the booth at 82 degrees right now after it flashed i went ahead and did another more medium coat waited about 30 seconds and did another one and then i believe i walked out of the booth for two or three minutes to let it kind of flash more and then i came in here and hit it with a uh a final medium coat let it sit for a minute maybe five minutes mixed up the mid coat came in here i did two of them back to back light coats and then I let it sit for five minutes, and then you've seen on the video where I did two coats back to back. And in just a second here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with 
one last coat off camera just to be sure. And then I want to try to let this face sit for 15 minutes in this 82 degrees so I know it's 100% dry before I go ahead and do my coat to clear. I'm going to be using a fast clear. I'll show you guys what it is when I get back in the mixing room here. And hopefully I'll do them back to back because it's a fast drying energy saving clear. It bakes in 30 minutes when I get this booth when I'm done. So I'll be back with you guys when it's time for some clear. All right, so for my clear, I'm running an Eastwood CC500 yet again with a PPS 2.0 cup. And we're gonna thin it with UR60. We're using DC 01NB from BASF with DH16 hardener. So I'm gonna mix up a quick pot of this and throw it on there. In real life, I'm gonna do two coats back to back. I'll probably just show the first coat and then shut the camera off and like wait 30 seconds, hit the second coat, and then I'll bring you guys back. like that we got our two coats of clear on no runs no sags no issues perfect coverage and i am honestly super happy with how this came out let me get my flash on real quick it's hard to pick up on the camera unless i get the flash on but the flake looks absolutely stunning so i'm gonna let this sit for maybe five minutes and we'll kick it into the bake and untape it we'll be done degrees in there right now we got just under three minutes left of the 17 minute bake when that's done i gotta rip that plastic off as fast as i can so this will be the last clip until i'm home so then here's that paint match tailgate handle that you've seen earlier because all the doors on the truck are paint matched but this was textured black from the factory for some reason. I don't know why they did that. So to match the rest of everything, I went and sanded all the grit out with some like 320, I believe, and then 400. And then I primed it, scuffed up the primer and shot it. So I originally shot this using the standard variant of paint, which I assumed mine was until I got the chip cards out and found that mine's actually more or less on the bluer side under here. So. It still matches like really good. You can't even tell. So I'm about to throw these parts back on. It shouldn't be too hard. Just getting this adjusted. It's probably gonna take me a minute. I'll get back with you guys though when it's done. It's currently the next day. I got kind of sidetracked after I got everything back on and didn't get any clips until after it was already dark. So I figured I'll just wait till the next day to show you guys how we're looking here. Uh, these taillights for the Chinesium ones, they don't really fit that great. I'm kind of worried I might do something about this. I don't want it to take the paint off the bed because then I would actually lose my mind. So I'll probably look into that. That's how we're looking though. Got the King Ranch logo stuck back on. I reused it, I didn't want to get a new one. And yeah, it, it matches like perfect in person. I bet if I get it on the camera, it might look weird. Actually, at least from looking through my phone, it looks like it all matches too. Looks like maybe that's a little different because this is the standard variant. This is the blue variant, which seems to match my actual truck better. So yeah, one day out of the booth, got the new Ford OEM logo on there. After I installed the camera, I went ahead and replaced the wiring harness in there for the backup camera. And it makes it so it does work now, but it works intermittently instead of working not at all. I've been tracing wires and stuff for that a ton and I just can't seem to get it working. I'm just 
going to stop messing with it because honestly, even when it does work, I don't use it anyway. It's kind of easier just to look out the mirrors, in my opinion. Yeah, you can see that handle came out great. Here's the one imperfection in all of this from everything from the bodywork, the paint, the prep, etc. The only imperfection is right here, and that's when I was feeding this handle in from the bottom. I scraped it just a little bit right there and it gave me that nice little chip other than that though it laid really smooth that uh eastwood concourse lt100 for the sealer the base and the mid and then i hit it up with the clear coat all bsf paints by the way but the clear coat was with the eastwood cc500 so for some cheaper end guns they honestly did surprise me and I am like really glad with how this came out. I don't know if I even showed the condition of the tailgate before. It wasn't bad, don't get me wrong. But it did have like a good danger right in here about that big. It had a lot of deep, deep rock chips like down to bare metal. There were some over here. There was just a lot of scratches, a lot of little dents all over. But the main dent was up there. And now it's perfect like the rest of the truck. And I think those taillights look freaking sweet on there. I really like them especially knowing I actually built them myself and it's not like most guys where they just went online and found some kid on TikTok to pay $500 to build them a set. Like these are actually built 100% by hand, 100% by me. It don't get much better than that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lights on on these and get some different shots of how everything looks real quick for you guys. And just like that too, we're actually 100 miles over on the money to do an oil change. So I'm gonna have to do that right now. I went ahead and picked up the Ford Motorcraft filter. It's all I use. Everything on this is pretty much Ford OEM for engine stuff from filters to fluids, to everything. Simply because I just don't wanna have any problems. These engines are way too expensive. Back in the seven three days, I always would use, you know, Whatever filter was only $9 when I went there and whatever coolant was the cheapest at Family Farm and Home because it's a cheaper motor on this thing. You can't mess around with that though. All right, so that pretty much sums up this little bit of paint match. Honestly, not gonna likely be very much extra that I do to this thing other than regular preventative maintenance from what I can tell. I'm sure I'll think of something I wanna do like it would definitely look pretty sweet with some cab lights, although I don't really like the idea of drilling into a completely make condition cab, so I doubt that'll happen. So I doubt really anything else is gonna honestly happen to this truck. I'm not sure what that'll mean for making videos wise. Probably gonna ditch these stock headlights soon and that's about it. Also, you gotta love that smog here in Michigan. It's been really nasty. For any of you guys who live here, you know the last you know a couple days have been disgusting from the wildfires. I can't remember where they were, somewhere in Canada. And all that smoke is coming right here into like the Detroit area. So definitely lovely. It, it stinks out here. It smells like burning plastic. The air is super foggy everywhere you go. So it really honestly sucks. That's besides the point though. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.